Uh, good afternoon. Hi there, afternoon. it's just Rachel. Can you please... Hi, can you put me through to Tom, please? Oh, can you speak up a bit? Can you put me through to Tom, please? Tom, please? One Tom! Moment. One moment, I'll see who I'm putting you through. Yeah, please, thank you. Oh, he's not answering. He's not answering. I'll try to see if he's in the toilet. Hang on there. Hang on there. What's your name? Thanks. I've already spoke... It's Rachel. I've already spoke to him. He did. I did give him my number to call us, but um, I've been on my break, so he could have called while I was on my break. I was just wanting to check. He might have done. He's been on some kind of break. His bloody self. I was upstairs half the morning. People are sick of the noise. One moment. I'll try and put you through there. No problem. Please be aware the course this number may be recorded and or monitored for whatever purposes we deem necessary. Yeah, Where thou hello. now? Hello, sorry. Hello. <laughs> sorry. I'm, uh, is this Tom? No, Tom. I think he's in one of the cubicles. He's been in there an awful oh, long time. Right. Can I help? Yeah, well, could you just grab him for me, please? Um, that might be a little bit embarrassing at this given time. <laughs> um, What's he up there like? Um, it's just, I'll just go and find out. I'll ask him for you. If you just hold the line one moment. Thanks. Oh, Bob, you have to come to the phone. He says he can't come to the phone at the moment. Can I, um, um, can I help? Well, I w- I've actually already spoken to him, basically. I was on just booking an appointment in with him. But he was with someone, and I think he was just a little bit, um, preoccupied. So, he did actually yeah, say he was going to give us a call that. back. Okay, yes. Are you the lady I spoke to this morning? I am, yes. Aha. Uh-huh. Uh, yes, I remember. Yeah, it was something to do with telephones and wasn't... Yes. Yeah, um, well, I mean, is it only Tom that deals with the telephones and things? Does he know what well, you're spending in that? Well, no, he's the only one that authorises what we're allowed to deal. Yeah, and it's what spends we're, you know, purchasing and the likes. We can sell uh, stuff, right. we can sell anything we like, but we can't purchase anything without his say, so... Oh, um, right, I see. I tell you what, let me go and ask him again how long he's going to be. Just one moment, I'll actually go through instead of shouting to one moment. No problem. <laughs> right, I'm sorry. At the moment, he's just not not going to be available. He said to put you through to Dick, and Dick will be able to speak, to, and he'll deal for you. Um, he'll give you a right. moment. Thank you. <laughs> Can you hear that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm loving this. Hello, what's going on? Hello. Hello. I said, Hi, is this Dick? Me. I said, look, yes, this is Dick. I said, not to disturb me. What's going on? Sorry, is this Dick? It is, yeah. I was trying to have a little sleep there. I'll be working, you know, since like 7 a.m. or something. All right, sorry, Dick. Um, basically, Tom's, uh, Tom's asked for me to be put through to you to deal with um, this appointment I'm trying to book. Tom's asked you to put... Tom's told... Tom, Tom, right, so basically, I've been on... The, yeah, I've been on the phone to a few people this morning. I've been, I've right. spoke to a Harry, a Richard, right. um, and basically, you, he's, he's, um, I don't know who I've just been speaking with there. I think it might have been Richard. He was speaking with Tom, who was on the toilet with his magazine, um, and t- and Tom said that you, he's to put, put for me to be put through to you, so you could deal with this. Um, basically, I, I spoke to Tom, but he was in the middle of something, so I was unfilling in his details, right. uh, and he said. He said he was with BT, um, and it was just about an appointment, but, sorry? I've no bloody idea who he's bloody with. Half the time, Tom doesn't know what he's even doing. Tom doesn't what? Yeah, he doesn't even know what he's doing half the time. I don't know what's gotten into him. Oh, right. Um, I mean... Well, what, I'm, I'm supposed to be booking an appointment just to come out and see us. No, well, it's just you and Tom's lady friends. Um, no, well, I'm not one of Tom's lady friends, but I'm basically just booking an appointment to come out and see you guys about your landline and broadband to save some money. Is this one of Tom's jokes or something? Because he knew I'm probably having to sleep. In like, no, I it's really laughing. not. It, it's, I heard you laughing. It's not a joke. Well, I the phone. No, no, it's not a joke. I'm sorry I've deserved your sleep. Um, it's, it's definitely not a joke. I'm calling from a call. Company called L. Right, so where about, yeah. to you, where about to you, based? In Sunderland. Sunderland, oh God, Macklems, right. <laughs> so you spoke to Tom, now you're speaking to Dick. I think I'm going to put you through to Harry. Hang on, I'll put you through. All right, no bother. Please be aware, of course, this number may be recorded and or monitored for whatever purposes we deem necessary. <laughs> I can't even go for this whole oh God. Hello, sales. Harry speaking. 
Hi, Harry. It's just Rachel calling from... Um, uh, Harry, I think I spoke to you earlier this morning. Uh, maybe. I don't know. There's two Harrys here. Which one? Which oh, one right, OK. Here? I'm not sure I didn't catch your second name. Um, I'm just looking to boot an appointment in to pop out and see you tomorrow regarding your landline and your broadband. Is it you who deals with that? I'm sorry, who's put you through to this department? We don't deal right, with that. Um, right, so people. Tom asked for me to put, be put through to Dick, and Dick's put me through to you. Oh, uh, they're playing that junk again. Uh, typical of them. <laughs> Very typical of them. What are they playing? Are they, play- are they winding me up? I think you're a wind-up. I think, because that's what No, I'm not a wind-up. I'm actually calling from Harry. a company. Oh, sorry. This I'm, I'm actually calling. Um, this is... Sorry, go on. What, what, the, gonna, what do they normally do? I was going to say, what they normally do is they get one of Tom's lady friends and, and she rings up and she's, she winds us up an awful lot, you see. Now, sorry, well, I, I do no, I, I, thought, I thought you were one of those. No, I'm, not, I'm definitely not one of Tom's lady friends. But I am looking to book an appointment to come out and see Tom if Tom's the business owner. But he's too busy to, to speak of, to me. So you want to be one of Tom's lady friends? Well, I'm is sure that, if he books right? the appointment with us, he'd like me to be, because I, I do look good. Do you? Oh, I only see that'd be no good. So to if you could tell him that, he might actually speak with us. Okay. Well, I don't know what to put you through to me for. I'm in sales. It's like... Uh, hold is there any I'm, chance I'm, I'm, you could just go and speak to Tom and tell him that uh, a, a very young, pretty girl wants to pop out and see him tomorrow regarding his landline and broadband? Look, listen, love, it'd be nice to save him some to money. be all sexy with me. I don't like girls. I like boys. No, no. I'm asking you to tell Tom that, please. Oh, OK. Well, I think he's in another the other building. It's like, um, it's cold outside. I'll tell you what, I'll, tr- I'll transfer you through back to reception and see if I can put you through, because reception's right next to where Tom's office is in the toilet block. Just one moment. Right, Brill, thanks. <laughs> Hello, reception. Hello, hiya. Who am I speaking with, please? Hi, yeah, uh, just Rachel. Who am I speaking with, please? You're speaking with reception, pet. Yes, um, what's your name? Sorry. I, I'm not authorised to give me name. I get wrong if I do right. stuff like that's, that after the last that's time. That's all right. No bother. Basically, I've all, I've spoken to about 20 people from this company. I think a Harry, another Harry, a Tom, a Dick, a Richard. I'm just looking to speak with Tom. If you could just tell him that there's a young girl on the phone uh, who's wanting to book an appointment in to come and not see him tomorrow. Not Tom, young girls. We'll I'm not a lady friend, that. if that's what you're going to ask. I'm definitely not one of his lady friends. I've been asked that a few times as well. I'm just looking to book an appointment in to save him some money on his landline and broadband. I don't even, I don't even know where he is the day. So what are you looking to do with him? I'm looking to sit down with him and Ooh. save him some money on his landline Ooh. and broadband. Right. How are you going to do and that, he, I think... Well, because I'm very clever um, and I'm very and I'm, I'm a good saleswoman, is... Right. Tom, is Tom in the toilet block with his I magazine by Tom any chance? Tom, Tom's. I bet he's in the toilet block. I bet he's in the toilet block with his magazine. I don't know what he's doing. He'd be in that oh, toilet I, block I, with I his magazine. Me like a day. So yeah, I would as well. Get, can you try and get him on the phone for me, please? I can try. Hang on, what I'll do is I'll. Yeah, oh, God, I don't even know what to do. This one, these ones, they've got the phones in. Oh, crumbs. Yeah, hang on, I'll give it a go. Yeah, I'm going to try this. If I get lost, he'll probably end up somewhere. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Okie doke. <laughs> Just fucking amused me sometimes, yeah. Listen in with us, Listen to us. I'm on hold at the minute. Listen to us. Wait until, it, wait until it comes on. No, because it, I was actually booking an appointment with Tom. For, I'll tell you what. I'm going to say on the phone, I have been on the phone every time, Dick and Harry. Get me the business owner now. <coughs> 12 minutes. Yeah. Oh, but I was on, I was actually booking an appointment with Tom. He was telling us who he was with and that. There's, a two, there's two Harrys. There's two Harrys, one that's gay. He's gay. There's a Tom, there's a girl. There's a girl as well. There's a girl as well. So I thought you were a fat one. What the f***? Hello, 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 hello. Hello. Please be aware the call is not made recorded and or monitored for whatever purposes we deem necessary. Hello. 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 
Hello, Rachel. Um, who am I hey, speaking Rachel. with, please? Technical support. How can I help? Well, I've I've called actually. I'm not sure if this is actually a joke, really. I've called from a company called, yeah, sure, and it was sure. regarding the landline and broadband. But I've been passed from to every Tom, Dick, and Harry. Is there actually people in the company called Tom, Dick, and Harry? Of course there is. Right. I just feel like I'm having like no one. Like I'm trying to speak to the business owner, which I'm assuming is Tom, Tom because yeah, I actually. That's Tom. Yeah, I actually spoke to him earlier. Um, he says, I think he's in the toilet at the moment with his magazine. Um, and what I'm yeah. looking to do is just book an appointment in. But if he's in the toilet with his him. magazines, I wouldn't expect to speak to him for the rest of the day, Pat. He, he goes in there and quite often we don't see him. You know, sometimes he ends up disappearing across to the Blythe branch, but uh, other times he's in there and we don't even know how long he's going to be in there. Um, so it's to do with telephones. Well, we deal with the telephones being technical support. What is, what's wrong with the telephones? There's nothing wrong with them. I bet Tom told me you are with BT. Is that correct? Uh, right. And, and would you be able to make decisions on the business if I can't speak to Tom? Because what I'm looking to do is pop out and see you tomorrow um, and just help make some reductions on your current price. What, do you know what you're paying at the moment for your, for your landline and broadband in the company? I'm sorry I wouldn't be prepared to disclose that kind of information without some sort well, of... Well, Tom, well, Tom <sighs> actually was willing to put the appointment in with me and I was going to be coming out. Like, I started filling it in on my uh, system, but I was asking... I, I got stopped because I think he was in the middle of something. I think he was with a lady. Um, yeah, he does that a lot, yes. So, I'm not sure. Like, do you, I mean, what, what are you paying at the moment? It is just to see if I can save you any money and if it would be worth just popping out and seeing you because we yeah. are in contract with the wholesalers for BT. So, it wouldn't change your number or your, or your provider. All we'd look to do is just reduce the price for you. Right, okay. Um, I'm not going to disclose the figures, but I'm sure you can imagine we are a reasonably large organisation and we do have a number of extensions as by yeah, and do you pay? Do you uh, do you pay quarterly or is it monthly? You pay. It's monthly. Is it? Well, I mean, there is probably a really big reduction that we can make on that at a wholesale price for you guys. Well, um, the initial deal we did get, I do remember we did. I'm sure it was a wholesale price we got first time round. Um, but BT are known to uh, bring their prices yeah. up. Yeah, the retailers for that. Been, right, claiming for a couple of years now. Yes. Yeah. Um, we can, we can fix that do, price for you. I would have to speak to Tom to get any authorisation. I need to speak to Tom anyway. Would um, you Would you be able, while I stay on the phone, because I wouldn't have called in about five times now, um, would it, I would wait on the phone if you could go and speak with Tom to just get the authorisation to obviously speak with me. I mean, I have spoke to him already myself, um, and then we can difficult. actually go, we can do something. That could be difficult. Tom tends to take it out on the employees when he's busy in the toilets. Well, I know, I've just had dead. I think it was Dick I was speaking to. I think Dick was shouting into the toilet there and he was speaking with him. But he did tell me, um, I think Tom told us to put, told Dick to put us through to Harry and and I've been put through to a few different people. So, I mean, if you could just go and say, oh, Tom, am I okay to speak to Rachel? You probably know who you're on about because I have spoke to him already. Uh, and just get that authorization for me, and I can, I can, uh, I can probably right, so you, save you guys I mean, a lot of money. Right. Okay. I mean, the, the, the thing is, it wouldn't be myself you speak to anyway. I mean, Tom likes to come to these meetings regular and and speak to you. Well, we can you, obviously the appointment. I could, be, I could sit that with Tom. Yes, okay. Well, I'll tell you what, just one moment, I'll go and see what I can do for you. Um, just, just, just hold on one moment. I'll just put you on, uh, on mute for a moment. One second. No problem. Thank you. Yes, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Hello. Hi, it's just Rachel. Who am I speaking with now? You're speaking to the Wing Commander. How can I help you? Hello. Basically, um, I've uh, I've just I, I don't know. I think I've been to the, the uh, technical support there. Um, right. I've been on the phone now for I think about no. I've been on the phone now for twenty minutes. Um, right. I spoke to Tom this morning. <laughs> You've been taking up, you took up 20, 20 minutes of our time, our resources. No, no. Basically, I've been transfer. I I've been transferred to loads of different people, and all I want right. to do is speak with a business owner, uh, which I did right. speak to him this morning. He was a little bit busy, um, right. and I said I would call back. All it is, right. I'm just looking to book an appointment in to come out and see you tomorrow, save you some money on your landline and broadband. You are with right. BT at the moment. I'm understanding. Um, and obviously you are a large company, so you're probably paying a lot more than what the wholesale... We are contracted with the BT wholesalers, so we can make a massive reduction on your current bill. And if right. I could come out and How see you tomorrow... Be? Well, that all depends on what you're paying, but obviously you aren't allowed to disclose that information with me until 
and, until Tom but can do, do, can so the way. That the price you give me would depend on how much we're already paying. Well, come on, woman, just tell us the price. No, it wouldn't. Well, our landline is fifteen twenty nine. I'm not sure how many landlines you have in your business. You've probably got a few line, lines running. Um, and Maybe. our broadband is nineteen ninety nine at a wholesale price. We can right. do a package if we have all. If you have a few landlines, and we'll also do half price line rental for the first six months. Right, we we'll probably have around the around the twelve uh, incoming lines. I mean, what what would that be costing from you guys? Um, let's have a look. Um, <clears throat> two seconds. Just bear with me. It should be Tom you speaking to. You want people to bear with you. Sorry. Um, well, it would work out about um, £183. That's at the that's at the full £15.29. That's, that's times that 12. That five years or how long is that for? Um, it would be a three-year contract at a fixed price. But we can do also, we can obviously do that um, half-price line rental for the first six months. So yeah, it's going to be in total for the, for, for the five-year package at £183, yes? Um, would, would that depends if you would want broadband. Would you want broadband? Well, well quite obvious. And how many, like, would you only need one route there? Would you need 12? Do you know what I mean? I, like, I need, right, I need to, to I need to support to do with those things. Right, okay, well, I've just been, put, I've just been, yeah, well, I've just been speaking to him and he yeah, said he no, can't. No. Dis- <laughs> Joke me! Usually where the call is may be recorded and or monitored for whatever purposes we deem necessary. Yes, hello, technical support. How can I help? Hello, I've been put back through to you again. <laughs> Sorry? I've been put back through to you again. It's just Rachel. I don't know her, Rachel. Oh, see, sorry, about, what, ten minutes ago, yes? Yes, yes I remember, um, yes, yes. Yeah, he's, you he's just said you Tom. probably need to speak to technical support. So he's put us back through to you, but you won't disclose any information with us without Tom's approval? Correct, yes. That would so, be like I mean, me asking he, you for your bank details and how much you well, spend. Well, not necessarily, next, because I'm only asking your prices. You I'm not asking, it? like, for your bank details. All I'm asking yes. is, like, how many lines you've got, if you want broadband... Um, and just how much you're spending. I mean, I can't really do much with the price that you're spending if, you, if you're not well, going to tell us. Well, you see, this is the problem. How much would you would you be prepared to tell me about right, your price? Right, our line rental... Would you tell me? Right, I would tell you yeah, our line rental is yeah. £15.29. Yes, but how many lines do you have? We have 15 here. Right, so you, so that would... And we can also do it half price for the first six months. So that would and be £7.50. £7.50 times by 15. Right, OK. Listen... I'm sorry, I've just I've just got somebody coming to the office here. I'm going to have to ask you if you could speak to somebody else. Can you just uh, bear with me? I'll transfer you through to who? Sales. One moment. They'll, they'll help. One moment. Sales. I've already been through there. <laughs> I can't. I just want an appointment with... Hello, complaints. Hello, hi, I'm Hello. through to you again. Um, is this Harry by any chance? No, no, this isn't Harry. Who's this? Oh, it's just Rachel from Lead Generation. Who am I are speaking you, with, you, please? You're speaking to complaints. Um, well, is there something that, that, that's happened? I'm, I'm speaking to complaints. Uh, yes, I think I spoke to you earlier this morning also. I've, always, I've rang in a few times. I just want to speak with... Um, Tom, the business owner, if you could just grab him for me, this will only take five minutes. I just want to book the appointment with him. That's where he'll be, I, I, th- I think. He he's in the toilet. He's in the toilet. Do you know where the toilets are from here? They're right over the other side. Oh, oh are they? Uh, oh, I don't know if anybody can take the phone across. Hang I on. I mean, who's I next to the toilet? You could put us in a, You could put us... We could yeah, put me through to someone who's based next to the toilet. Is that reception? I'm, I'm just, reception I'm just Tom's office is right next to the toilet. I don't even know me. We're around. I'm just complaining. No, I'm supposed not. to be dealing with the complaints. And it's been so, 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 so busy all day because everyone's been phoning for Tom, Dick and Harry and they've been passed from pillar to post and all kinds of yeah, things. Yeah, that's the same with me. That's the same with me. Right, so I've been passed from every t- to every Tom, Dick and Harry as well. I'll get me pen because I know you've been waiting to speak to us. I mean, I'm not, I don't, want, don't wish to complain. I just wish to make an appointment to save you your company. Complain? Well, no, they're going to have a meeting about my job. So I need you to complain because that's what my job is. And if people don't complain, I won't have well, a job. Well, I can give you a complaint. I'm calling from a lead gen... Okay. All I want to do is book an appointment with the uh, with the boss 
but the boss seems to be always sat on the toilet with his magazine. I'm not sure why that is. Um, this morning when I spoke to him, he was with his lady friend, I think, because I could hear noises in the background. Um, I just okay, want uh, Well, I don't know what noises, like... Just I could he was he was a bit busy. I'm not complaining. I, I don't really wish to complain well, about I that. To though. Take a I just complaint because that's my job, pet. If I don't take complaints, if I can well, just take well, the only complaint that I would have number. Mm-hmm. The only complaint, no, the only complaint that I would really have, which isn't a formal complaint, I don't want to make a formal complaint, sorry, even if it is your job, I'm sorry, I don't want to make a co- formal complaint, all it is, is I've just been passed from pillar to post, and all I want to do is speak to Tom, the business owner. You want to, you want to speak to Tom, Dick and Harry? No, I want to speak to Tom, not Dick or Harry, just Tom. Right, what you got against Dick? I've already spoke to Dick, and I've already spoke to Harry, there's the two Harrys in the business as well. I don't know how many there is. I, I think I'm going to be an expert company. on this company by the time I'm finished on the phone, to be honest with you. I know everyone yes. in the company now, but personally... You want to come and give me your hand in complaints? <laughs> what's, the pay, what's the wage like? Is it good? No, they don't pay, you. They don't pay, yeah? No. Oh, well, definitely not. Sorry, I do not want to come work for you, for this com- that company then, because I get paid for my job. <laughs> you get paid? How much do you get paid? Um. Well... I don't. Well, I don't wish to. Wish you to. You just asked me, and I told you. I just asked if you got paid, not how much. Yes, I, I, I'll tell oh, you, I do get paid. <sighs> so, so can you grab Tom for me then, please? Well, you told me he's at the toilet. Hang on, I'll see if I can put you across there. The toilet block. You've, you've got a phone in the toilet block, haven't you? One minute, I'm just looking on the sheet here. You want the toilet block? Yes, because Tom's there. I know he is. <laughs> Find it. Hang on. Hello. 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 Hi. Is this Hello. the toilet block? Uh, it's through the toilets, right? Yeah. Is there? Is Tom there? I don't know if he's in here or not. Do you tell me? You have his lady friend looking well, for him again? No, I'm not his lady friend. I just really, really need to speak to him. Please, can you get him what on about? the phone for us? Tell me what you need it's to speak just to him. It's just regarding his landline and broadband. I just want to save What's him some money. It? I f- I've already spoke to him this morning. What did you speak about? I spoke about him being with BT and having 15 lines. Who's BT? And so BT. Is this his lady friend, him. BT? No, I'm not a lady friend of Tom's. I'm just you said, a Rachel you said, you, from you, the... You said on about he's been with BT. Yes, he told us that this morning. He probably has, and her sister. Right, OK, so can I just speak to Tom, please? Can you just get him for us? Uh, put your suit cubicle too. That's probably where he is. Where? No, he hasn't. He's just putting it. I'm getting transferred. No, there's no one in cubicle two. There's no one in there. Look, all the all the toilets say it's got the green lights, so there shouldn't be anybody in there. Right. Okay. So sure where my, where might sure my... well where might Tom be? Can you just see if you can locate him for us? I mean, can you put us through to Tom's phone in the office in his office? <sighs> put you through the reception or something, but I they had a thing. The thing was happening. Oh, this is crazy. Can I can I not do something? Do you? I mean, where where are you? You down in reception well, now, waiting or what? No, no, I'm I'm. It, it leads to my office. And basically, I want that? to just book an appointment in Sunderland. I just want to book oh, an appointment dear. in to come and see Tom. Um, I have spoke to him this morning, but he was a little bit busy. I did leave my number with him also. Um, no, your number, hang on, there's, there's got a lot of background noise there on your side. You left your number. Was, yeah, I did. I left my number with him. Um, right. And I, just, and I just want to speak to him regarding his landline. It takes... Five minutes. If you could just locate him for me and get him on the phone, it will take five minutes, no longer. Right. Can you tell those people in the background to be quiet, please? Because I'm having difficulties here. Okay, I got the hearing thing, and okay, I got the phone upside down, but there's no need for all that noise in the background. Yeah, I'll tell them to be quiet. Can you guys be quiet, please? <laughs> Louder. I've just told them they're all they're all uh, they're all, all gonna, being a little bit are quiet. Are they all going to bloody listen? Hopefully, everyone listens to me anyway. They do. Right, right. Can you put it on hands free or something like that for everyone, so I can tell them? Um, I'll put. Uh, well, I can let my my colleague next to me listen. She's already been listening. No, no, I can let the, I can let them listen if you'd like. Yeah, put them put them through to all of them. Come on, we we'll talk to all of you. You want to talk to all of us? All okay. Of well, I've got I've got I've got a friend here called Courtney. Courtney, she'll do. Hello. Hiya, Courtney. How are you? I'm good, thanks. How are you? Yeah, good. How's Rachel getting on with this telephone call? She sounds a little bit frustrated in some ways. 
<laughs> I think she is in jail. <laughs> she'll be speaking How to much? every Tom, Dick and Harry. She's asking to go to the toilets. She's asking all kinds of weird and wonderful things. Are you sure she's okay? <laughs> Should we sack her? Huh? Should we sack her? Should we do what with her? Sack her. Sell her. Oh, no, no, Back no, sell her or something. Buy what you want. Sell her, sounds best, that sounds better. You, 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 <laughs> you can buy her for an appointment. On. Yeah, she's been calling all this it is, company. All it is, all it is, go on. Harassing the company. She's just all it is, harassing companies all bloody day, what's going on? All it is, it'll be regarding your current and then broadband, if you're paying wholesale prices or not, that'll, that's all it'll be. If you're currently right. paying over £40, you will be eligible for that. That's why you'll be keep getting the phone calls, sir. And will we continue getting them? Are you currently paying over £40? Because we have the flash-up system. If there's only oh, business yeah. owners only, um, only if you are currently paying over £40. Right. And are you currently you paying over £40? No, of course not. Bloody hell, you're joking. Wouldn't pay that much. Under £40. <laughs> way, way under. Way under. Right. No worries. No problem. Um, right, what about your mobile phone? <sighs> Don't pay anything for that either. Free? Yeah, free. All free. Yeah, All monthly. Free. No? Free. Right. That's no it. problem, thanks. Right. You heard us before, yeah? Sorry? You heard us before, haven't you? Yes. We do the calls on YouTube, yeah? The calls on YouTube. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You should have heard us from training school and stuff. Tell them off the training Hello? Camp. Hi, how are you? Hello, it's me again. Have you just been having me life? <laughs> Hiya, Rachel. How are you doing? Have you been having me life? I've been having your life. H- have you what been you having me life? I don't know what you mean, having my life. Is this some some young thing? Because we're old and like, stuff. Like, have so. you been take like have you been taking the mic? Like, I was ringing regarding your landline and broadband, and have you all been taking the mic? Oh, I don't know. I've no idea. I'm I'm just like here, like you know, like, trying to deal with the complaints. Trying to what? Mm-hmm. Well, is the, is there a business owner available that I can speak to, please? I think it must be like a no, no, it must be a business owner. I'm just just me in the complaints department. There's only you in the complaints department. Yeah, complaints department. Well, I'll be ringing up later to make a complaint then. Thanks. Bye. I think you should. I would. See you.